What is going on guys? I'm Nick and today we're taking a look at something just a little bit different. Usually we're covering iPhone case reviews and today we're doing one for the iPad Pro 11 inch. This is going to be specifically the third gen and it's going to be the leather folio case from Nomad. So I'm sure you guys have heard of Nomad, especially if you stuck around the channel a little bit. I have covered some of their cases, just like their leather case for the iPhone 14 Pro right here. But I've been using this case for a good while now, actually, and I am completely obsessed with it. It is definitely my favorite case for the iPad. And I don't tend to switch cases out too often for my iPad the way I do with my phone. But this one has made me completely want to stop switching out at all. But let's go ahead and start with the packaging right away. Immediately you get a really nice photo of the front of the case itself with the iPad in there and you can see the Apple Pencil it is compatible with the case, Nomad branding up top. And then at the bottom, sorry my studio is not really set up for a box this large, you do get some lettering down here that says Rugged Folio for the iPad Pro 11 inch third generation. Looking at the sides, some Nomad branding as well. Down here you get to see that it is the black leather. Same thing over on the other side and then the back. You get a photo of it again with the differences showing the patina of the leather on the left side you get day one and then day 100 over on the right side and it shows you how the leather is going to age and it's going to collect oils and scratches and things like that just how everything else does and at the bottom it's talking about some of the features the case has so it does have the magnetic folio so it's going to work with the wake and sleep function of the ipad once you open or shut it i'll go ahead and show you guys that right now how the leather is responsibly sourced and full grain leather develops a patina which is unique to you. Now that is something that is really common with leather especially nice quality leather. It's going to age and it's going to collect oils and everything like that and it will patina. But let's go ahead and get right into it. So this case does come in at $150 which is definitely on the high side but after taking a look at it I think you guys will agree with me that it is worth the price and it is justifiable so starting over here eco leather you can go ahead and pause and read that if you like it's going to be some information on the leather itself now back to the case we're going to pull it out and we can set this packaging to the side right over there so here is the case itself you are going to see that it has some scratches on it already maybe some stains on it i have been using it for a very good while now usually i test my cases for few days but I just loved this case so I've been daily driving it and it's definitely starting to show so when you open it up we do have a little cardboard sort of material right here with some more information of Nomad themselves again you can pause and read that if you would like I'm a big fan of Nomad and all of their materials that they use a lot of their products are just extremely high quality so taking a look at the inside of the case you get a super nice high quality felt lining right here which is going to help prevent scratches and just take care of the back side of your iPad. A little bit of Nomad branding down there. And then we can go ahead and shut it and take a look at the leather one more time. So my case does definitely have some scratches on it already as you can see right there, over here, up here. It's totally normal with leather and as you have it for longer, those scratches tend to fade away and sort of meld into the leather, which is why I don't really mind it. But we're gonna go ahead and grab the iPad and we'll snap it in right here. On the inside of the folio, you do have more felt lining. So when you shut it, that screen is gonna be covered by that. Super nice to see. We do have the iPad Pro 11 inch right here. This is the space gray one, in case anyone was wondering. And same as the phone, we're gonna start with the left side and we'll snap it in just like this. So the sides of this case are not leather. They're actually gonna be more of a TPU material, super rigid and does add to some more protection. So I'm definitely not gonna complain about it. And there it is. So you can see the iPad is now in there completely. And this is what it looks like from the front side. Super nice, solid case. And you can see the material around is different. It's not full leather. But let's go ahead and start with some protection. Just how we do with our phones. We're going to start with the camera lenses right here. Starting like this. You can see those lenses are completely inside the case nothing's protruding or anything like that you do get a very nice amount of protection obviously there's no like insane bulge on the ipads like there's on the phone so there's nothing to worry about when it comes to that and you can see already this side is going to be completely open now that is on purpose that is so that the apple pencil can snap on 
and here magnetically it charges just fine as you can see right there it is detected and you have no issues with it now we've done that let's go ahead and look at the front side so we can do the fit test how we do on our phones the material right here you can see it is extremely rigid you have no pull whatsoever on any sides it doesn't have any pull or give right here there is a full cutout which we're going to take a look at right now and the material itself doesn't pull anywhere so let's go ahead and look at the sides of our case right here as we get closer to it you can see more of that tpu material we do have a really nice textured power button right there you can see some of the scratches on here which is completely normal and don't really make me upset since most of them do wipe away really easily and we do have accurate speaker and microphone cutouts as you can see now this side is completely closed off which i do like to see that just because one side is open doesn't mean they all have to be open. So this one's closed right here. And then the bottom, super generous cutout where your USB-C port is at. And again, really accurate cutouts for your speakers and your microphones down here. And of course, the other side is going to be that completely open side where we can store our Apple Pencil. And I really like that our volume buttons are uncovered. So you know you have really nice um, buttons. You're getting the feel of them themselves. But this power button is covered, so we're going to go ahead and test it real quick. Obviously not super clicky, you're not going to hear it super loud, but that is because the buttons on the iPad are really simple to click. I don't have a problem with this, it doesn't feel stiff or rigid or anything like that, it's still really satisfying to use. And of course, since this is a folio case, you can snap this back piece into a triangle just like that. And you can set your iPad down and use it as a stand like this. So you can watch your media. I don't know if you're maybe you have a wireless keyboard and you want to type something out. You can definitely do that and have it stand right there. And one thing I love about this case is that this little triangle uses really nice magnets. So sometimes you're using one like a cheaper folio case and it always tends to come undone. And that's just kind of annoying. That has not been the case with this one. I've tapped away on it. I do use my iPad for a lot of media consumption. And anytime I'm tapping it or anything like that, this has not come undone on me once. It has to be purposely fold, unfolded and then you can shut it off. Even when I throw it in my backpack or anything like that, it doesn't wiggle around. The magnets Nomad has used here are super strong and really stiff, which is definitely a good thing. And of course, right here, you can see that wake sleep function works perfectly. As soon as you shut it, iPad goes to sleep. As soon as you open it, it turns back on just like that, as you can see see my wallpaper show up as soon as it opens really love to see that and that's gonna be pretty much everything for this one guys not a ton to go over like there is with the iphone cases but i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to hit that like button down below let me know if you want to see more ipad accessories like this i just really loved this case so i figured it'd be a good way to sort of segue into these different videos especially if you guys enjoy them obviously i want to keep making them but that's it for this one, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all around.